Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to Whimsicraft. What you have just seen is the off-camera building of one of the greatest farms I've ever had the pleasure of building in Minecraft. I think this has required probably the most amount of resources for a single days of building that I've, I've ever done. It, it was so many resources. And if I would have shown you all the resource gathering, you would have clicked away immediately. But essentially, this is a farm made by a creator called Potato Noir. And how it works is it produces these fundamental dyes. And from these dyes and brown, you can craft and light gray, sorry. You can craft every single type of dye in the game using the new crafter block. It's amazing. This entire farm produces every single type of dye if you choose to set it that way. Why, you may ask? Well, after my field shop wasn't so profitable, I decided that, you know, everybody needs dyes at some point and everybody's going to need concrete. Yes, I'm also going to try and sell concrete. And I think I've had an idea revolving around the members of the SOA. And if you're confused of what SOA means, maybe you're a new viewer. Well, the SOA is a group that I started a couple episodes back. I've only sent the invites at this point. But the SOA aims to pretty up the shopping district, create some rules and boundaries, and we also plan to make our very own street in the shopping district. Starting off with these dies. Yes, so we're all going to each sell, hopefully, if they're all down for it, a colorful item. So, like, I'll be selling concrete, and then, like, Musha can sell beds or something. We'll see. It's going to be fun. We will get to that later in the episode, although that is still a very important thing that is going to be happening. But something even more pressing, because the shopping district is starting to get disorderly. We need to get the SOA set up. We need to have our very first meeting and we need to start establishing things. To fully bring you up to speed on what has been happening with the SOA, well, we've been doing a bit of planning off camera, which has kind of resulted in this kind of setup. So we've brought on, since my episode where I've sent out those invites, we brought on LTP because he had a fantastic idea for this road design. And he was down to come help us pretty up the shopping district with this road and everything else that's going to be happening. So yeah, welcome LTP, and also we have some of these beautiful shops, which were also started by LTP. So this is the, all the shopping district as built by the SOA. So this is all our rules, our style. If you build on this street, which anybody can, there will be a fee involved with that. We have yet to decide. We will decide at the meeting. But if you do build on this street, as Tram has... You must build in this kind of like low city style, like not like a skyscraper, but kind of what you would see off like a suburb or something, or maybe even like in the downtown district or something. The reason why I bring you all here to show you these roads is because this is what we're going to be working on for most of our time here in the shopping district. We're going to be building off these wonderful roads, which will have traffic going through, which is amazing. It's such a cool and creative idea. Thanks, LTP, for bringing this up. Aha, here's what I wanted to show you. This is where my dye and concrete shop are going to go. Now, something has been going on a bit weird. So, I mean, as you've known, I have my dye shop already established, and people were buying from my farm directly, which is kind of strange. So what I decided to do was place some shulker boxes here with all the dyes that people can come purchase. As you can see, two diamonds per stack. But at one point, Lori logged on in the morning and saw that my shulker boxes were gone. And there was a sign here that said like the shopping district cleaning or safety authority had taken my stuff because it was a pop-up shop. But they never took those ones. Those are pop-ups. So I'm still kind of confused why they targeted me specifically. But anyway, they've returned them to my my own shoe, my, my house, which is strange. The thing that we have to focus on right now, priority numero uno, is this. This is where the SOA building is going to be. 
And I see that LTP has dropped off some supplies. I have the rest at home, and I think I'm ready to get building. Let's hit that SOA lapse. Hit it! Now that is looking super duper duper cool. I'm super proud of this build. And I'll give you a little context behind how I actually designed this. I don't know how many of my fans are also fans of Lego, but I actually got the shape inspiration for this build and the general theme of what I'm going to be building is in this entire shopping district area from the Lego modular building series. And specifically, this one is the Brick Bank Lego. And I'll put a picture up screen so you can kind of compare and contrast them. But basically, I just wanted to take the shape of this. And I did use some of the colors as well, but obviously it's hard to do one-to-one. -one. But yeah, I love taking builds like Lego or real-life builds and trying to find some way to turn them into Minecraft blocks. It's one of my favorite ways to build. Well, let's go in the interior here. This is something that Will and a little bit of Lori helped out with. I really like this wall color combination. It's really nice. We got the fluffy carpet, place to sit, an ender chest, because every shop in the shopping district deserves an ender chest. Upstairs, we got another fluffy carpet. We got the diamond throne, where we can negotiate all of our deals with. And this nice painting here. Now, you're probably wondering where we're going to meet for these SOA meetings. And if you stand right here and you drink a bucket of milk, wait a second, ta-da! Here we are, the meeting room. Looks quite empty right now and quite loud. But eventually, I think we're gonna fill this up with like splotches of paint, kind of related to our little dye thing from earlier. So yeah. Now, I think it's time for the SOA to take some serious action, which means we're going to need to get dressed for our very first meeting. Well, do you like my uniform? The face is inspired by probably the least threatening member on our server. And that is a compliment, by the way. This isn't me trying to tell Lori that he's not very threatening. But yes, face is inspired by Lori because we need a bright, shining face to greet all of these people in the shopping district to feel non-threatened because we mean no harm. We just want to see the shopping district become beautiful and lovely. Now, I've also had Will of the SOA make us all a little bit of an outfit kind of in the same style which you will see at our meeting. Get ready for probably the funniest moment that I've ever had in Minecraft and definitely the hardest that I've ever laughed while playing Minecraft. Take a look. Mississippi. Four Mississippi. Three Mississippi. Two Mississippi. One Mississippi. Why oh, there's wow. so many Mississippis? We did it. Mushi, I'm going to ask what you want to do for dinner. Go. <laughs> What do you think you want <laughs> Wait, what? Re what are you going to do for dinner? <laughs> Look, we're, at the you time I was them. brainstorming, we were walking down a street at night time. Like, what else am I supposed to talk about? <laughs> you put me so on the spot there. I was like, okay, I'm sorry. It was a heads up, a millis. Sorry, guys. Dude, I'm my sorry, improv hello. is not that good. <laughs> okay, okay, you you throw me some. Okay, I'm gonna ask you what you're having for dinner. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Mean? 
I gotta do that. Mommy I'm made me mash my M and M. I'll try not to be on you. If I start to laugh, I'll, I'll, I'll try to do the Mother same. Mother made me mash my M and M. Okay, wait. Please do that on me. Mother made you mash my M and M. Mother has made me mash. Dude, at this point, we're all gonna be on mute. Okay, we gotta do it when it gets to we're one. We're gonna have to voice over this. That's yeah, when it, when he gets to one, we'll do it. Lucia, why do you hold a different piece of meat in your off hand every time oh. I look at you? What are you doing? Like pull it together. I know you're hungry. We're going to dinner. It's fine. <laughs> I'm so hungry right now. <laughs> Spongebob, you're dying. Wait, guys, guys, the weather's great for this, actually. Now we can talk about the weather. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yes, we need to go the weather's bad. Come on. made me mash my m and Red leather, yellow leather, red leather, yellow leather. from? It's good saying you hit. That looks like the same book I'm holding. We must be all at a library. <laughs> And cut. No, you missed your cue. I don't think I'm so sorry. 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 i Hey guys. I got a weird book in the mail. Um, yeah, I did too. Is it the uh, SOA invite? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Wait, you guys got one of those too? Oh. Yeah. 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 Well, this is the SOA building. Oh, yeah. It sure is. is. Yeah. Okay. Let's go in. Yeah. Yeah. Hello. Wonderful. Uh, yeah, he's expecting you right upstairs. Yes, go ahead. Go right upstairs. He's expecting you. Uh -huh. Oh, we have an appointment. All right. Th uh, thank good. you. Yes. Uh, excuse us. Uh, sir? Or... Is... Knock, knock. Okay. Hello, gentlemen. I see you all have accepted my invitation, which now makes you members of the Shop Owners Association. Now let's put the oh. kibosh down on these shops, shall we? This is not where yeah. we're going to be meeting. Yeah! So, each of you is welcome to use this room, but for our meetings, we're going to be using something secret. Ooh. Come down here. Okay. Secretary Finn, I see you again. May I have the milk? Thank you. All right. Now everybody stand on this block here. It's crazy. I don't think... Oh yeah. And I'm gonna drink quite snug the milk. <laughs> hey Augie, you wanna pull a lever? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> <laughs> no, dude. <laughs> and we fall down! <laughs> I, I forgot to change it! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Pull the lever, crunk! Oh! oh. Make sure Whoa. you fall in the slime. <laughs> <laughs> How is he the only one to die this time? <laughs> Finn hit me, and then all of you guys were in the way. <laughs> and I just want the shopping district to look beautiful. Is that too much to ask for? This is one oh. of the big problems in the shopping district. There's mobs everywhere. 
there's traps, mm. there's pitfalls, there's all sorts of things that are wrong that we as a group need to fix. Who's with me? Here, yeah. here. Yeah. I think the first thing we got to really focus on are some of these pop-ups and getting some roads mm. in place. Mm -hmm. Do you think we should go around after this and go, go flag some pop-ups? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yes. flag them. And maybe as yeah. a potential solution, I wanted to run this by you guys first, we can invite them to come on the street and we'll charge them for the plot. Mm -hmm. We do need revenue. We need some revenue. Mm. Oh, speaking of revenue, this is our total revenue that we've earned so far, <laughs> from my collectings at least. <laughs> Wait, what? That's a good start. Uh, we just had our first start. meeting. We've already got progress. Well... I yeah, would say this is a good start, but Lori, yeah, gotta use those pearly whites. We're not bringing in enough revenue here. That for a whole shop, yeah. three diamond blocks? No, here's what we need to do. I'm sorry. We need to take a cut of every <laughs> shop on the street. Lori, <laughs> you're beautiful. Don't say you're sorry. Get back mm. on your seat. Get back on, get okay. back on your seat. Get back on your seat. Speaking, you're sending all kinds of mixed messages. <laughs> Well, you know what they say. Is it better? I'm be like a blender. I'm mixed. <laughs> no, 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 no. Is it better to be fear or loved? I want people to be afraid of how much they love me. Michael mm. Scott, free spaghetti. That was really powerful. <laughs> I'm moved. So how about how about we go up? I got some of these wool colors here. I'm thinking green, they're in the good. They're, they're, they need to make mm -hmm. no change. Yellow, they're on probation. Need to make a change or else we're going to find them. And red, we probably won't use right now unless you really don't like a shop. You're like a, you're like a middle one. I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of uh, scared of your face. I like how you've all brought um, your game faces. So this is amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Moosh, what do you want? Mm-hmm. Whatever you wish to give me. I'll give you green. Thank you. Game player. All right. Follow me. Follow me. I'll save you some of the boring details. Basically, we went around the shopping district, placing those flags on all the shops that we deemed good, okay, and bad. Mostly the bad ones were pop-up shops that we needed to, you know, upgrade to not pop up. But the yellows were stuff that didn't have ender chests or had empty stock, and the greens were just all good. Hopefully we'll see some positive action in the shopping district pretty soon, and maybe we'll even receive some donations and maybe some plots to be added to the shopping district where these pop-up shops can be replaced, like in the case of Finn. Three. Thank you all for coming to the very first, very first, of course, uh, nothing before this, SOA meeting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This was... Uh, something that we're going to really work on and really make this place amazing. Mm. Thank you mm. all for, for helping me with this. You've been dismissed. Those of you who can stay, Woo. can stay. All right, Musha, let's go Wait, get what's dinner. my payment Sleep for today? <laughs> uh, pop by. Yeah. We spent the I entire budget on those chairs. Scrumptious. We actually ran out. Oh, another so week. Another week, week, week without pay. pay. So. Uh, hey, you uh, gotta spend money to make money. That's what they say in the business. Yeah. Alright, Finn, let's finish you up. My biggest thing now is price. Because uh -huh. I think this would be a, a great place, but price. So, <laughs> so, as far as pricing goes, I think the system that we were thinking about originally was you can either give us like a sum for the plot or mm -hmm. you were saying before that that might be a bad idea because if he doesn't make as much money like a subscription fee then maybe we take like a percentage of your your profits right mm -hmm. so what percentage is fair to you uh Let's see. So, uh, whatever one ninth would be. 
one ninth yes so we have to wait until you make nine diamonds to earn one well if people are buying slime they usually don't necessarily just buy one they're going to like probably buy like an entire row with my pricing structure more or less so with every row of slime which is 32 slime blocks uh like per slot um then you'd get a diamond out of that what do we think what do we think what do we think how about purple okay. is slime okay if we do this deal what if we do like an upfront fee to claim the plot and then a percentage cut from every sale he makes in addition? Yeah, I like this. Let's negotiate for like something higher, like like a like a sixth. Yeah. All right, the SOA has spoken. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh yeah, what was the deliberate deliberate a bit of a deliberation? So we are going to charge you. For the plot, you're going to reserve the plot with some diamond blocks, mm -hmm. okay? And then after that, after you've made your shop and everything, and you start making profit, which you will because mm -hmm. you're, on, you're on the SOA street, mm -hmm. we are offering you one-sixth of your company. One-sixth? One-sixth to us. How do I divide that? I guess I can just, like... Oh, wait, how do you... Eh, like that. And then that goes to six. One six? Yeah, sure. One six, round it down. Fair enough. That's that's fair. Mm -hmm. Shake on it? Shake on it. Shake on it. Shake on it. Shake on it. Uh, uh, oh, that's a phantom. I thought that was well. So I, I, uh, I see we haven't agreed on a price for the plot. So is this mm, like a blank true, check? True. Like we can just charge you like a hundred diamond blocks. Well, that was a deal for the uh, for the the ongoing fees. For the plot itself, uh, uh, you said diamond block. Uh huh. Well, you... Singular. No, 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 no. How many? How many diamond blocks? How many diamond blocks? Ten. Ten. 20? Yeah. 30, 30, 30. 40? No, I feel bad. I feel bad. Two. Two. Ten. Two. Ten. Two. Ten. Two. Uh, ten. Do you have ten diamond blocks? Ooh. No. No, I do not, sadly. All right, I do not right. have ten diamond blocks. Okay, we'll do a right. deposit. We'll then cut you five a deal. diamond we'll blocks right deal. now. And then five deal. diamond blocks later. Actually, I like that deal better. I, I like him. Yeah. Mm, I don't think I could do 10. That's, that's, it's, it's like, that's a lot. Okay. That's quite a bit. All right. Let okay. me, let me, you wanted let this, me... you wanted this deal. Make it work. Uh, if I'm going to make this work, I, I think I got to go down to. Uh, on, before you say anything, let me cut you a deal just mm -hmm. for you. Just mm -hmm. this once, because I'm feeling nice. Six mm -hmm. diamond blocks. Take it or leave it. Six diamond blocks. See what I was thinking would be. Two diamond blocks, because that's 18 total diamonds. There's six SOA members, if I'm correct, which means that you could split that to be three diamonds each. So what is that like? How much can I get with three diamonds? A book and a half? Are you, if you're dividing it, I mean, three diamonds each, that's, that's quite a bit. Okay, but 10 diamond blocks, if you divide that equally, we get 15 diamonds each, and we can buy significantly more things with that. Do and we can put it towards other things the in the shopping district. On the, yeah, this isn't. This doesn't go to us. Okay, this goes. Well, to Well, then make you. it work. No, this is your deal. You make it work with us. This well, is it's both of our deal. You're getting profit off of me. I th I think eight is good. How about this, Finn? Hmm. You I give us seven. three. Oh, I was gonna say three, and then you give seven to charity. Do we have charity? Yeah. What yes charity do we have? Mm -hmm. We're taking it donations. It goes to putting, yeah. uh, cleaning the streets, making new streets. Buying um, the resources to make beautiful paths. shops. Yeah. If you're comfortable with seven diamond locks, pop down an energy chest right here and I can, uh, I can get one for you. Well, that's three to us for profit and seven to charity. 
Ooh, I uh, it looks like all my diamonds are in, are aren't in block form, so I, I don't have enough. Could I get a loan? How much do you have? Let, yeah, me, see your, let me see your diamonds. <laughs> this is the loan. What? You have that many? I thought you were poor. Huh? The way you're acting. All right, so that's the donation to charity. I really want money the other profit? day. Uh, your profit? Oh, do you want? Yeah, yeah. It was three, to, three to, three to us, and then we're gonna give the seven to charity, right? No, uh, no. I thought it was. I thought it was eight total. Oh, sorry. It was two. It was two to us. Two diamond blocks to us. I only got one diamond. Wait, what about what That's... about Musha, Crumb, and, and LTP? Well, yeah. that was for the uh, the extra diamond block there that uh, to get to a total. Well, you're uh, slim pickings. Anyway, enjoy your plot. We'll be expecting uh, six of your profits. We should have negotiated for, sure. for half. What? We should have negotiated for half. Mm, Would you have given us half? I... No. Wow, this server is stingy. Okay, goodbye. I I gave you 72 diamonds, sir. Stingy. <laughs> stingy? Stingy, I tell you. <laughs> it's a plot of ground. Thank you for doing business. Goodbye. Have fun. We also made a similar deal with Proportions. Who wants to change this here blaze pop up into something else on the street. Uh -huh. It's like the Yo. first place I went to. <laughs> I got back on the server for the first time in like a week. Mm -hmm. Well, we might have something related to that. Do you perchance own this here blaze shop? Uh, perchance I do. Uh huh. You may notice this, <laughs> this red banner here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's good, right? Ooh, Lori. What, tell, tell this man what, what the red banner means. Uh, Pop-up shops? Uh, no, no. What he said. Now. Gotcha. But, mm -hmm. but, 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 with, with, with more than two T's, because if it was two T's, that would be a problem. Come with us. Tees? Two butts. Two T's on your butt. Oh. <laughs> I was like, I don't see any T's. What are no, you talking no, about? No, 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 no. T, 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 T. Come, come into our office. Come into our office. Oh, I got the shag carpet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, he's going on top of the chair. I'm going to go in the middle of the chair. So, okay. we have a couple of options here for you. Mm -hmm. Pop-up shop, it's got to go. It's got to go. Mm-hmm. But yeah, but I, but I worked so hard on it. Well, we can help you work even harder and earn so much more cash by placing a new and improved shop here in the SOA area. Now we can sell mm. you a plot, or we can sell you a pre made build, or we can build it to your specification. Wow. Do you have any kind of ideas of what you might want? Uh, what's the going rate on a plot? On a plot. So, what did we sell the other one for? Do you remember? Uh, it was like eight diamonds, eight diamond blocks. Yeah. So, we were going to split the diamond blocks, like some, the, the first couple, and then the rest is donations toward the SOA streets to make them better. And we so, also get like um, a third of the profits, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and a cut of your profits from your shop. So there's no, like, there's no fee to own the shop. Like, no monthly fee. But if you do make a lot of diamonds, we want to share in your success, so to speak. Gotcha. And these numbers are negotiable. We really, really just want to see you on the street, you know? <laughs> That's mm -hmm. interesting.
I do feel that a third is maybe a bit much pricey though, especially since I have to buy the plot as well. Well, that was oh. that was for that for that plot we sold to Finn. We can we can work something different for you. Gotcha. You just got to keep in mind that there's six SOA members who all have loving families that we need to take care of. Right, Lori? Yeah. Can't do this for free. Like my horse. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't forget my bird. Um, there may be some like plots along here. Along the side like, of the street here? Yeah, like if you like this spot, well, there's also this here. Maybe we can put like a retaining wall. I don't know. We're, we're, mm. still, we're still under construction. See. Because I was thinking about doing for the blade shop eventually was like a coffee shop. Oh, like yes, 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 yes. Yes. So, yeah. Yes. I think that would probably fit in here pretty well. With like the style. Yeah, like a corner yeah, yeah. style coffee shop, like right here would be cool, I think. Yeah. You have like windows on both sides. Yeah. I mean, I'd be down to eventually build a shop here. I don't really have a time frame. <laughs> Perfect. That gives us time to clear that mountain. Sweet. So we, we do have a couple stipulations. Mm -hmm. Lori, I don't remember them. Do you remember them? Uh, it has to be like a theme of like a street shop that you'd see in like real life. Yeah. Um, like it can't be like Toby's building that, like just on the street. Yeah, like, like a downtown kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was about to yeah. say like, like downtown, mm -hmm. like like a 50s area kind of place. I um, really kind of feel like it should maybe be one or the other, to be honest. What about... What about a mix of the two? So we reduce the one third. Let's go one sixth because that, well, I guess that doesn't make sense, but there's six members of the SOA. That still doesn't really help us in any way. Mm -hmm. But one sixth. And then you want to do like, uh, like two, two diamond blocks for the down payment. And then like you can make a donation to the SOA later. Uh, how much of a donation would you be expecting? Well, I will say that we are going to need some to get the materials for this, these roads. Um, and labor ain't cheap. Yeah, we need new. St we we need donation for street lamps. And the street There's no lamps. Street lamps. There's it's pretty dark. Spawning. It's pretty dark. Oh, so I can provide street lamps. Ooh, wait. Oh. <gasps> Do we want to... Actually, this is a great idea. Donation of materials. Yeah. Yes, yeah. we'll take it. We'll take it. <laughs> this is actually great. This is excellent. Yeah. If you want to donate as many materials as you wish to the cause, we will take as many. I think, I think I like we might materials. have a deal. Yes. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's make this it official. Good. Well, that's going to be all for today's episode here on the Whimsicraft server couple things I wanted to note before I ended the episode. One, during that clip with the SOA members, you might have heard an unfamiliar voice in the background. Well, that new member is Augie, Builds by Augie, yes. She is a wonderful creator and somebody that's definitely inspiring me to step up my game here on the server. I definitely recommend you go and check out her channel, give her a subscribe, and let her know where you came from. Also, if you're a long-term fan of mine, you may have remembered my tool challenge. And yeah, a lot of it happened off camera. Basically, I've earned mending on most of the tools already. Yeah, you saw me get netherite, and I broke netherite building this farm and doing other things. And to prove it, I can show you in my statistics again. Broken, broken, broken. And these two broken so yeah basically i've unlocked many for most of the tools and i just wanted to say thank you all for supporting me in this challenge it was really fun and definitely a a way to shake up the game since i know a lot of people started off with mending because they you know the tram shop and everything but i wanted to kind of earn it and yeah and i guess the last thing is that the reason why i'm here at my dye farm is because in the next episode, you're going to get a little bit of a tease. I'm going to be making the shop for this 
and hopefully my concrete indicator, my concrete indicator, indicator, concrete, my concrete to do da machine. Yep, I'm gonna be doing that in the next episode. It's gonna be exciting. The whole reason I made this farm, and we'll finally get to earn some serious cha ching in the shopping district. But yep, yeah, that's it for now. I will see you in the next episode. See you later, alligator!